It's a video that really has captured the attention of the whole of Saskatchewan. Hi, welcome to the PA Now Newsroom. I'm joined by our senior reporter, Nigel Maxwell. Nigel, you broke that story in this province. How'd you get wind of it? I happened to be browsing my Facebook feed um, earlier this week and came across a video that had over 30,000 views at the time. Right away, uh, the alarm bells went off. And of course, you see the content. Uh, for those who amazingly may not have seen it already, what are the big things in the content that, 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 that aroused your attention? Well, number one was the offensive language used by both the RCMP in the video as well as the women who are uh, involved with the RCMP. And then the level of enforcement, too, is what's really struck me. So you immediately reached out to whom? To RCMP. I called them right away saying, have you heard about this video? Have you seen it? And surprisingly, they hadn't. And they thanked me right away for calling them, saying thank you for bringing this to our attention. And they promised me they will be looking into the matter. Okay. And you've since heard similar things from the community leaders in Pelican Narrows. What have they been telling you? Uh, I talked to Vice Chief Harold Linklater as well as Chief Peter Beatty, And they both assured me that they will be talking with the RCMP on Tuesday to uh, get some kind of answers. They're both calling for immediate action. Final one for you, Nigel. In any video situation like this, there is often a wider context. We're only seeing a snippet. What's your sense of the potential wider context of this event? Well, I have heard that there was an incident that led up to this video that was not being shown by the woman, that a prior arrest, and actually Chief Beatty himself said, too, he had heard about that arrest as well. But again, can't report on hearsay at this time. Have to wait for the RCMP on Tuesday. Okay. Check out Nigel Maxwell's reportage on this, and of course, we'll be following this story on PA Now.